this video, let's learn about the Corocobrachialis. The Corocobrachialis originates from the tip of the coracoid process of the scapula along with the short head of the biceps brachii. So this is the coracoid process of the scapula and it originates with the short head of the biceps brachii. And the insertion of the coracobrachialis is into the middle of the medial border of the shaft of the humerus. So this is the humerus and the insertion is into the middle that is 5 cm of the medial border of humerus. So this muscle is the coracobrachialis. As the name indicates coraco that means the origin that is from the coracoid process of the scapula and brachii means the arm. This is a short head of biceps brachii and this is the insertion. The nerve supply is by the musculocutaneous nerve and the coracobrachialis is a weak flexor and the adductor of the arm. So the action is the weak flexion and adductor of the arm. Now let's know the important anatomical events that occurs at the insertion of the coracobrachialis. And this is a very important landmark because many anatomical events occur in this level of insertion. This is the posterior compartment, the anterior compartment of the arm, This artery is the brachial artery. This nerve is the ulnar nerve. This green color is the medial intermuscular septum. This is the humerus. This nerve is the median nerve. The deltoid muscle. This green color is the lateral intermuscular septum. This nerve is the radial nerve and this muscle is the coracobrachialis. So the first anatomical event that occurs at the site of insertion of the coracobrachialis is the circular shaft of the humerus becomes triangular below this level. It becomes triangular below to the insertion of this coracobrachialis and the brachial artery it passes from the medial side of the arm to its anterior aspect. So the brachial artery passes from medial aspect of the arm to the anterior aspect and the basilic vein pierces the deep fascia here and the median nerve crosses in front of the brachial artery from the lateral side to the medial side. The radial nerve pierces the lateral intermuscular septum to pass from the posterior compartment to the anterior compartment. So this is the posterior compartment and this is the anterior compartment. This radial nerve passes the lateral intermuscular septum and from the posterior compartment it passes onto the anterior compartment. And then the ulnar nerve passes the medial intermuscular septum to go into the posterior compartment. That means here. And the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm and forearm pierces the deep fascia just like the basilic vein and at this level the nutrient artery pierces the humerus so guys this is all about the coracobrachialis and the anatomical events that takes place at the insertion of the coracobrachialis that means here if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.